Hi, everyone. I'm Frank Malico with Fox here in the San Francisco Bay Area. My guest is a UC Berkeley friend of mine and a fellow fraternity brother as well, Steve McDonald, attorney by day and face shield maker by night. Steve, uh, good to have you with us. Good to be here, Frank. Thanks for inviting us. Oh, you bet. Now, you've got a group, about a dozen or so, that uh, got very motivated. You guys made over 300 shields uh, for local doctors and medical staff at a couple of Bay Area hospitals. Uh, tell us how this all got started. First of all, uh, now it's up to 1,000 shields because we've made 700 this week. Oh, you've had a busy week. <laughs> We're ramping up production. So the way that this started, um, I belong to the South End Rowing Club, and there is a there's a friend of ours down there who's a contractor and he's a, it's a volunteer run um, organization. And he found out about the need for these plastic, clear plastic face shields uh, from a friend of his. And he reached out to about a dozen or so folks in, in the South End organization and it's a volunteer run club. And so we're used to doing this kind of stuff, taking care of the boats and things. Sure. And it sounded pretty cool. And we're all a little, have a little cabin fever here. And um, so uh, we signed up and he organized it with some other folks from down there. And so we have a 10 or 12 households who have become little factories <laughs> to make these. And um, when we started off, he was sourcing material and we were all trying to source the material for the plastic. And of course, everyone on the planet is trying to make Fine these that. types of PPE products. And so and this, this gives a firsthand lesson on supply chain management because we couldn't get the material or it was delayed. And there's an immediate need, as you know, there was an For immediate sure. need. And I know uh, you being an attorney, you got very resourceful and looked down at a brief, an old brief, and saw the plastic cover and said, aha, maybe we could put that to good use. Tell, tell our viewers what you did. Finally, we came up with something of benefit that the legal community could provide to society. <laughs> yeah, we looked at those, and I actually had read about it, I think, in, in, the, in China, that they were using um, report covers and that sort of thing. And I said, you know, we have these deposition covers, which are clear plastic. And it turns out it's the same material that is used for these products. It's uh, the same kind of plastic product. And it turns out I have, I have an example for you. I bet you do. So this is what the cover looks like. It's like the report we used to do in the 12th grade, right? And echo it together. And we figured out that we can cut the top off and round off the bottoms. I don't know if you could see that. Sure. And then we make it into a shield with the foam and the elastic. And here you go. Voila. Just like that. The mother and, of invention. And the plan, the plan actually came, it's an open source plan that came from a group at the University of Wisconsin. The University of Wisconsin Badgers get the, get the props. They put an open source plan and spec out there uh, from, um, uh, I think it's called uh, University of Wisconsin Makerspace and a group out there um, uh, put it out there and gave instructions on how to how to assemble them, and they were sourcing plastic from different um, organizations and companies, and uh, it was very difficult to get that. Sai, our our friend Sai Lo, who started this organization, and some of the other folks involved, um, reached out to places like Tap Plastics, and all these places were closed. Mm -hmm. He talked a couple of them into opening and selling us what they had. Um, and then I reached out to the legal community and the friends that I know and had my secretary, the secretaries of my office reach out to the court reporters that they work with. And we received donations almost immediately from all these court reporters who sent me literally thousands of those oh report cards. And I just had them send them to my house where I'm working here. And uh, we've been distributing them out and uh, yes, manufacturing them in MacGyver fashion. <laughs> I guess now, how long does it take to make one? Well, it's interesting. We're going through different prototypes and my wife Sally has a friend who's in the upholstery, her family's in the upholstery business and she dropped off uh, several sheets of one inch foam. So when you say, how long does it take? You know, we're trying to Henry Ford this and cut up all the pieces in advance right. and 
once you get going with these shields, with these covers, you can bang them out. You know, it takes takes a couple minutes. So How many have you made? I've made about three hundred. Wow! In your spare yeah. time. Yes. <laughs> When I get when I get tired of talking, arguing with other lawyers on the phone or something, I go upstairs and now we hang had out talked, a few shields. We had talked off camera uh, yesterday. Uh, the foam that you use up top, you were actually using sponges from Home Depot and elastics from old uh, exercise equipment. Is that true? Yeah, when we started off, um, we couldn't source the foam; it was delayed. And Cy was able to find some that had like a peel and stick background and, or you know backing. Uh, but while while we were waiting, I was looking at Home Depot because it was one of the few stores that was open, and they have those big sponges. So, yeah, we were cutting those up and and repurposing those. Um, and yeah, we had donations from people in, in the community that have just been amazing. Um, people that are so that are sewers, um, friends that just dropped off. I find paper bags on the front steps. Um, with the, it's like three quarter inch or one inch uh, elastic, oh, wow. um, and people in the community just. Well, let me you ask know, you. See, that's got to do your heart a world of good. That while we're all sheltering in place and trying to beat this thing, uh, you know, people have really stepped up, uh, including yourself. Well, it, it is very, it's very rewarding, as you know, when you participate in something where everyone's getting together and doing something positive and good it's like the most rewarding feeling you can have. And uh, it's gratifying to, to see people just immediately want to participate. There's one company, US Legal, that I'll give them some props because they, I started getting emails from all over the country, people I don't know. And they said, oh, we really like this project and we're going to send you some covers. Tell me where to send them. Just a few. And I got thousands of covers from those people. I, UPS was dropping off every day there for a while. <laughs> It's probably and, like, what the heck are you doing, you know? You know, we have um, 20, I think I received something like 2,500 covers from them. And you know, we're going to use them all. Are They've you been going to? Yeah. Well, how long will this Will you continue to make these? Um, we're projecting right now, um, the Sutter Healthcare Group and some other local hospitals and health healthcare facilities are asking for all that we can provide. And uh, I was just talking to Cy this morning and, we're probably gonna we're, we're probably looking at another three weeks worth probably at a thousand a, a week and maybe more i don't know i mean it depends on how things go and we're going to try to continue to supply the local need anyone who needs them and um, and then maybe ship them to other places if people need them depending on where the hot spots are all right steve i'm going to put a picture up here hopefully it'll uh, it'll work uh, i imagine that looks pretty familiar I'm going to speak so we can, we can see it, but uh, these are some of the doctors and medical workers at CPMC and Seaton Medical here in the Bay Area that are benefiting from your mask. Uh, talk about the photo, which I'll have to take down when you speak, but uh, you know, and what it means to you and the reaction you got from the doctors. That, that, is, the, that is the reward. That is the reward right there. When, you know, the healthcare workers were so appreciative and, the, and they sent a picture after the first delivery of, of about 300 masks, I think it was. And it just motivated everybody, you know. You just run upstairs and start banging out more of them because that's really what it's all about. You know, what can we do to participate or to help out in some small way here? These people are putting their lives on the line pretty much for us. And, and so it's a small thing for us to do. And yeah, and it's a positive thing in the middle of all this craziness. It's a positive thing for us. And, and it's a simple thing. It's nothing more than a little piece of plastic, a headband, and some elastic to keep it on their head. But that could be the difference between getting the virus or not, or life and death. It can be, uh, or it's at least one part of that part of that protection package. And you know, I'd also mention that uh, one of our other friends from from school, <laughs> Doug Seiler. Uh, found out about this and said, hey, how can I help out? And he, he has a friend up in the North Bay in Novato who has a maker, maker space as well and, and one of these uh, high-tech uh, shops with the laser cutter. So they started making them as well. Uh, we're making some with the, the um, plastic where they do cut them out 
uh, either by hand or with one of these devices. And he's making he's making a different style that has a, a more permanent band, and then the shield can be put on and take it off, and a new one can be put oh, on. Wow. Yeah. But it's it's improved. yeah, it's great to see you know everyone trying to improvise. And I was talking to somebody, and it said, "Geez, this reminds me of what my." parents and my grandparents used to tell us about the war effort and they would go up and down the street collecting aluminum pots and pans for the so true. airplanes and here we are and in some ways you say how could this be in the U.S. of A but on the other hand you know everybody needs to pitch in. Well Tesla is already pushing out uh, uh, not cars but uh, the ventilators. Uh, ventilators that's the word I was looking for. Um, Amazing. And so um, are you still working or has this become your full-time job? Don't tell my managing partner. <laughs> <laughs> How well, let me ask you that, Steve. Um, on top of you're 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 always giving back to the community. You've got a big heart. But um, how being an attorney has uh, the coronavirus sheltering in place, social distancing, how has that changed your world uh, as a practicing attorney? It's a, it's, it's very interesting. Uh, everyone was shut down. We do civil litigation and civil practice type of work, commercial, you know, dispute resolution and that sort of thing. So all the courts are closed. All the depositions by and large stopped. All the court proceedings stopped. Um, obviously in the real estate world, um, evictions, everything. So everything kind of came to a standstill. We still have work that we are doing. And, and like most firms, we have all of our attorneys working remotely from home. And we're fortunate now that the technology allows us to do that. And so we're maintaining some productivity and working on things that need attention right now. The legal community, in my experience, and from what I've talked to other attorneys, sometimes we're at each other's, you know, we're banging away at each other in some of these disputes when they become heated. But there is a sense of coming together and of, um, you know, cooperation that, you know, we're all going to have to figure this out as we go along. And so lots of things are getting postponed and continued. And, and I'm, you know, on the dispute resolution, a lot of the stuff we do involves mediation and dispute resolution for commercial and business disputes and construction related disputes. And we're doing them online. We're doing them, you know, they're using video conferencing technology and, and, uh, and a lot of it is old fashioned phone calls where, you know, I, I've spent hours on the phone with a judge on a case in the last couple of days and he's working hard to settle the case. And so we are carrying on and, and I think that we'll be able to continue to carry on. Um, but yeah, it's a strange new world. Yeah. And I don't think it's, it may never be the same. I mean, your business, yeah. my business, I'm doing this for my home. You're right. at home. Um, commercial real estate may, uh, may be, they may be making big changes because I think a lot of companies are discovering, hey, we can be proficient and efficient with our employees at home. Why do we need six floors here at the Salesforce Tower? Um, you may be right. You may be right. Maybe right. I'm going to put this picture up one more time. I just want to get your reaction. Um, uh, one more time, uh, just tell us what this means and the fact that they are already wearing these, uh, doing operations and procedures and taking care of people with COVID-19. It really is the money shot. It's, it's all the reward that anyone could ever ask for is to see the, to see the, the stuff that we're doing, the, 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 little, the little contribution that we're making being put to use. Um, it's very rewarding. Well, Steve McDonald, attorney by day, mask maker by night, by weekend. I imagine you sneak in a few during the day, too. Uh, you are the very best. <laughs> Keep up your good work uh, right here in the San Francisco Bay Area. And I know you, you are they filling orders now? Are they saying, can we get another thousand of these? Is that, is that what's happening a little bit? Look what you started. Yes. <laughs> well, Cy started it. And okay. I'm just a cog in that wheel. Well, uh, yeah, but but the angle with the covers has been very entertaining. I bet. Well, it is certainly a hook <laughs> and uh, uh, very innovative, and I would expect nothing less from a an entrepreneur like yourself and attorney Steve McDonald. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Frank. All right, that's Steve. I'm Frank Malico. We're here in the Bay Area. That's the very latest here. We'll send it back to you.